dead PM chief ministerial candidate Lal Duhoma is most likely to stay claim to form the new government in Mizoram today after holding a meeting with all the newly elected MLAs. Jet PM leaders have gathered at the party office in Aizol for a prayer meeting today and soon thereafter all the MLAs will gather at the undisclosed location to elect the legislature party leader who in all likelihood will be Lal Duhoma. The Jet PM chief is expected to take, uh, take a claim to the new government today after the meeting and furthermore as per the sources coming in Jet PM is keen to have the swearing in ceremony at a public playground however the matter is not yet finalized. What's a big story from the region viewers, Jet PM Chief Ministerial Candidate Lal Duhoma is most likely to stake claim to form the new government in Mizoram today. After holding a meeting with all the newly elected MLAs, well, the Jet PM leaders have gathered at the party office in Aizol for a, for a prayer meeting today and soon all the MLAs will gather at an undisclosed location to elect the legislature party leader who in all likelihood will be Lal Duhoma. Jet PM chief is expected to stake claim to the new government today after the meeting. And furthermore, as party sources coming in, Jet PM is keen to have the swearing in ceremony at a public playground. However, however the matter is not yet finalized. Sir, so what is the schedule uh, of uh, today? It is a scheduled meeting, uh, it is a devotional meeting. We often have every every week, and yesterday is the exact time, uh, the normal time. But yesterday it is uh, uh, another business, um, counting of votes. So we shift in the meeting this day. So it is celebration of the newly elected. Um, uh, have we, all your MLAs reached Taizol? Not yet. We don't need to receive any information. Some are very far away from here. So they may be coming, they may be on the way at present. We are getting reports that today there is going to be a meeting of the party. Pardon me? Uh, we are getting reports that there is going to be a crucial meeting of the party today. Um, it's quite difficult to inform them. So we can say. And to gather more details on this big day today, we have our chief uh, uh, chief bureau in uh, Mizoram. Well, Arindam Das is present there. Well, Arindam, if you can hear me, has Lal Duhoma arrived at the party office? And when is the meeting with the newly elected MLAs scheduled to take place today? Uh, yes, uh, some of the MLAs, uh, the winning MLAs of the JPM have arrived here at the JPM headquarters at Upper Republic Bank in uh, Aizol. But uh, some are still on the way. That's what we have been told by the working president of uh, JPM, Dr. K. Sabdanga, that uh, since uh, some of the MLAs are from very remote and distant locations, so they are expected to arrive Aizol by today eight afternoon so uh, the meeting that we are getting reports that a crucial meeting will be held at an undisclosed location so far uh, we haven't got any concrete uh, uh, knowledge about it as to where that meeting will be held and what time that meeting will be held but yes sir, right now at the jpm office uh, in aizol uh, most of the winning candidates of the jpm have arrived here the office bearers are here of the jpm and in fact right now a prayer meeting is uh, going on. In fact, uh, we have, what we have been told that it's a, a routine uh, prayer meeting that's held every Monday since uh, yesterday was Monday and counting took place yesterday, so it couldn't take place yesterday. That's why the party decided to convene this uh, prayer meeting today. And right now, most of the winning candidates have arrived here for this uh, prayer meeting. And uh, uh, you have asked whether the chief ministerial candidate of JPM, uh, Lal Duhoma, has arrived here. He is uh, yet to arrive at this location. Uh, we are just waiting outside the party office uh, uh, so that we can uh, get, uh, quickly get a reaction from him on the reports that uh, there is going to be a crucial meeting today about the, uh, the party's uh, proceedings. Uh,
how they, they will go ahead informing government. Uh, as we'll also try to ask him about the crucial meeting that is going to take place uh, today in uh, selecting or electing the legislative party leader and also on the reports that uh, ZPM is uh, most likely uh, going to stake claim before the governor to form the next government here in the state of Mizoram. Well, yes, uh, the ZPM ministerial candidate Lal Duhoma is expected to stake claim today. What more inputs do you have in this regard? That's right. We are getting reports that uh, after this prayer meeting here at the ZPM office, uh, there is going to be a crucial meeting of the party. Uh, that's, of course, going to be a closed-door meeting. In fact, it's going to be an un at an undisclosed location because it, I tried to ask few of the winning MLS because they will be a part of that crucial meeting. Do they know where this meeting is going to be held, uh, at what location? They said we haven't got any information so far. So it has been kept a confidential matter so far. But yes, uh, we are getting reports that there is going to be a crucial meeting of the party where the legislative party uh, uh, leader will be selected. Uh, and uh, that's going to be Lal Duhoma, who is the chief ministerial candidate of JPM. And after that, Lal Duhoma, along with the winning MLAs will probably meet the governor of uh, Mizoram, uh, Hari Babu Kambapati, uh, and stake claim to form the next government of Mizoram. Well, uh, Arindam, as part the JPM sources that we had gathered yesterday, that the chief minister candidate will be swearing in first and then the elected MLAs of the party. That's what. Uh, we have come to know from inside sources of the JPM that uh, uh, the swearing-in ceremony will take place in two uh, phases. First, uh, it will be only the chief minister who will be swearing in and it is going to be at a public place where there is going to be a lot of public gathering and in front of that uh, huge gathering, the chief minister is going to swear in. And after that, on a separate date, the rest of the cabinet ministers in the Ladduhoma's uh, ministry will be sworn in. So that's the information we have gathered from inside sources of the JPM that the swearing in ceremony will take place in two phases. First, it's going to be only the chief minister who will swear in at a public uh, the, uh, location where there is going to be huge gathering and uh, there the chief minister, that's uh, Ladduhoma, is going to swear in. And after that, on a separate date, the rest of the cabinet ministers of Lal Duhoma's ministry will swear in.